Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Top Line here, Jason Drummer, and we are back with another drum book review. Yes. So these are books uh, that, from my collection, I'm going to be reviewing. And so I'm reviewing them based on offer and uh, based on what I have. So for example, at the Gary Jeffer book, I only have one book from him, but I'm trying to work on expanding on my book collection uh, to where that's, I'm able to teach these things to y'all. So. In this uh, uh, book review, we are going to talk about uh, John uh, Pickering. So John Pickering was um, um, this author and all that. He has these two books, which is uh, uh, the cookbook series, or drum cookbook series, as I would say. So he has two drum books uh, that I have, which is um, uh, uh, developing uh, today's uh, rock drumming, which kind of is ZZ Top rock drumming. In my opinion, because of uh, similarities into the rock stuff that it does. So, and then uh, the jazz. Um, so these are two books. And so I use this a lot with Butch. And so this book, it was in the syllabus with Butch, but I'm a jazz major and we didn't have to deal with any of that stuff. So, well, just one page and to just see if I was able to play it and I was. Like, so, let me first talk about this book. So this book is pretty much what I call a duple based book where it only contains duple um, like uh, groups of two. So it's like boom chick, boom chick and all that type of stuff or playing paradiddles. So I'll do it in a rock group do, 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 and all that type of stuff or just mixing and matching uh, different combinations. So this is basically this book and there's some great stuff. And I'm not saying I'm not talking bad about the book, uh, but I'm just saying like this is a great book for beginner, any intermediate, uh, but advanced students, I don't think advanced students are going to benefit too much uh, from this book because they they probably already are able to uh, play most of these combinations in a very fast tempo uh, with uh, no sweat. So it's a great book for beginners and intermediate, but uh, what I recommend it to, to my advanced students, eh, not entirely. Uh, just a little bit of a glimpse. Uh, I'll give them a couple examples of this book. And yeah, but the only uh, two things, in my opinion, uh, it, has, it has like the different combinations, it has solo ideas, and oh, that was, no, it's technically three ideas. Uh, that, that, and it has uh, one application idea, which is do, 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 and all that type of stuff where it's like you're opening a hi-hat which is really great uh, but there's so much more that you could do application based uh, with these ideas so if you have like some place uh, where it has uh, different applications where you could do a disco uh, type of thing on your uh, uh, hi-hats while doing this then go ahead imaginations are your limits so the next book is what I use with Butch Miles a lot which was the Studio Jazz Drumming Cookbook. So if you've been working with the John Riley book and you've been working on the, uh, the uh, Beyond Bob Drumming and you kind of feel pretty good about it, but you want to expand a little bit of your knowledge because it only contains one page, actually two, two page uh, examples. So there's really not too much to grab, but this book, there's a lot of examples of uh, just Comping with one voice, comping with two voice, comping with three voices. And there's a lot of ideas that are going on in this book. So the first thing that goes on is, well, it's duple and triple playing and also uh, choreo triplet ideas uh, that, go, that goes on with this book. So it first uh, deals with like normal combinations, um, like a duple, like just snare drum or just bass or intertwining with uh, the snare and the bass. And really the ride pattern doesn't change at all. The ride pattern doesn't change. Maybe towards the end of the book it does. Well, towards the end of the book, it gives ideas of different variations on ride, ride patterns. And you can use those app as applications. So that's what Butch taught me a little bit is with this book is like, try to, try to do a, a blues uh, type of swing uh, to these examples. And I had a little bit of a hard time, but because it was a new idea at the spot. So, he gives out these great examples. So pretty much what me and Butch went over was we pretty much just stopped over where it was. Kind of stopped where it was. Let's see, at uh, snare, bass, drum, and hi-hat combination figures. So we pretty much just stopped at this section where it was like incorporating all three voices. 
and we didn't go over any uh, different like uh, combinations where it was like um, a snare bass drum and a hi hat combination figures where there's core note triplets and uh, just mixing everything. And so with this book, what's really great about this book, it kind of spans a little bit of John Riley's book, to where that uh, you're playing, you're playing a little bit, and some of these things could be like a little bit of a feel idea or or a comp idea that you could use. Like if you hear someone uh, do 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 and all that, it's like hmm, I think I know something very similar to that. Let me look at my brain bank. Oh yeah, I played that uh, yesterday. Uh, from uh, the uh, Jazz uh, Drum Cookbook. So, these are really uh, great. It incorporates uh, not just like a chick, but it also incorporates that type of open sound, a splash sound in this book. So, John Riley does that uh, too with that book. This book has a lot of examples of incorporating uh, different sounds uh, with your hi hat. So, these are really uh, great books. I, I recommend this uh, for. Uh, my students uh, when they're kind of like in between um, the, the art of bop drumming and beyond bop drumming and just right in between like after they start to develop the art of bop drumming uh, they have a pretty good foundation then I'll start them on like a couple of things on here uh, in the first uh, couple chapters in this book and then when they start to get into the beyond bop uh, drumming where they're incorporating their left foots We'll start using some examples in this book. So this book, I kind of feel like it dives deeper into um, the jazz drumming, where it has all these examples you're using all your limbs uh, that where you're opposed to. So it's a really great uh, tool to do. So really great books, and I uh, definitely recommend this one to maybe audio audio engineer majors or just. Um, people who are like um, beginners, uh, I kind of recommend uh, this book uh, to maybe intermediate students, but not advanced uh, students, just as a glimpse, but advanced students uh, would probably not. And this book I recommend uh, to um, like in between, um, a little bit of a beginner uh, to the advanced students, because there's some advanced stuff in here. So um, these are really great books. I really uh, highly recommend uh, these uh, books. So. Yeah, there's not too much uh, to be said about John Pickering, but he's a pretty cool dude. Yeah, so until the next time, guys, keep practicing, and I'll see you in the next video.